above my street. Love the peonies. I like the way we have mailboxes at the end of our streets. It's a beautiful road. See the trees? No sidewalks either. Rather rural. People put their lights on. It's a lovely neighborhood with lovely neighbors. Hear all the birds. Lots of birds, lots of squirrels, lots of wildlife. In the winter, I see deer prints in the snow. Nice and cool in the evening. I can go for a walk without breaking a sweat. Look at the sun setting. You can see it up there. A little pink. And people choose certain houses on certain streets. <clears throat> Not every house feels like home. There's one thing that's different about my street. I feel like I'm in a campground in Kentucky or Tennessee on a lake. Oops. There's the stop sign. There's the sunset. There's no outlet. This is a dead end. American flags on flagpoles in this neighborhood. Very patriotic. A lot of veterans live here. That's not by accident either. There was one rich Air Force commander who bought all of this land and he invited certain people to purchase a lot and build their own house on this property. <clears throat> You have to be asked to live on this street. There we go. There's one flag. Beautiful sunset. Chill of the evening. How quiet and peaceful and clean it is. Neighbors mind their own business. the good flag, the clean flag, the dry flag, and it's hung correctly. Took care of that on Memorial Day weekend. All you need is some conversation and humanity. Someone to understand where you're coming from. You don't leave a wet, dirty flag and hang it upside down and expect that I'm not going to care about that. Look at the sky. I hope it shows on this. It's pink. Beautiful pink. 
This is my house. Time to go out in the backyard. Maybe light a small fire. Here's my flagpole. I don't have a flag on it. If you have a flag, you have to bring it in every evening or I have a light on it. There's rules and regulations about flying the United States of America flag. That's my welcome mat. 